Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the bilinear transformation for the design of a digital filter from a given analog filter. So we are going to look at the bilinear transformation. So given an analog filter, you want to convert it into a digital filter by using this transformation. So an analog filter to a digital filter that is given H A of S that is the transfer function of an analog filter to the transfer function of a digital filter that is H of Z. So our goal is to convert this H A of S to H of Z. So specifically we will derive the expression or the relation between S and Z for this particular bilinear transformation. So the main advantages of this bilinear transformation are that it has unique mapping from the J omega to unit circle that is it has unique mapping from j omega to the unit circle. That is the j omega is in the s plane and the unit circle is in the z plane. So the mapping from j omega to this unit circle is unique and the bilinear transformation also avoids aliasing. That is because of this unique mapping, all the values of j omega are mapped onto unique values on the unit circle. Thus, it avoids aliasing in that is in contrast to other transformations such as impulse invariant transformation. Therefore, the LHP of the S plane maps onto inside the unit circle in the Z plane and the RHP that is the right hand plane of the S plane is mapped onto outside the unit circle. It is LHP of the S plane goes to inside the unit circle and the RHP goes to outside or maps onto outside the unit circle. Now let us look at the derivation of the bilinear transform in the case of a simple analog filter. So consider as consider an analog filter that has the transfer function H A of S is equal to B by S plus A. That is, this is an analog filter with a single pole at S equal to minus A. Analog filter. Note that this analog filter actually characterizes a differential equation differential equation given by the derivative of y of t plus a constant a multiplied by y of t is equal to b times x of t. So by applying Laplace transform to this differential equation we can easily derive this transfer function in the s domain. That is by applying Laplace transform on the left side we have s plus a into y of s and on the right side we have b times x. So this is by applying Laplace transform. So by taking the ratio of y of s and x of s we have h of s or h a of s. This is y of s by x of s which will be equal to b by s plus a. So this is the transfer function of the analog filter uh, characterized by this characterized by this differential equation. Now we can write the function y of t y of t as integral t naught to t y dash of tau d tau plus y of t naught. This is nothing but equal to y of t minus y of t naught 
plus y of t naught. Therefore, y of t can be written as the summation of this integral plus y of t naught. And this is obviously equal to y of t. Therefore, y of t can be written as thus. That is the integral t naught to t y dash of tau d tau plus y of t naught. Clearly, y dash of t is the derivative of y of t. Therefore, y of t can be written as this summation. Okay. Now, we can approximate this integral by using a simple trapezoidal formula. That is, consider the structure of this function. Consider the structure. Consider the structure of the function y dash of t at two points. That is, t is equal to nt and t naught is equal to nt minus t. That is, two consecutive points when it is sampled. Then, the value here is clearly y dash of nt. And here it is y dash of nt minus t. These two consecutive values in the sampled form. Now the integral t naught to t y dash of tau d tau can be approximated as the area of this trapezoid. That is for a trapezoid, for a trapezoid with this side equal to a and this side equal to b and the height equal to h. The area is given by a plus b by 2 into h. Then, by using this formula, the area of this trapezoid is given by, that is, this integral is approximated by y dash of nt, that is, this side plus y dash of nt minus t, that is, the second side, y dash of nt minus t divided by 2 multiplied by the this difference that is t basically this is a trapezoid where the sides are y of y dash of nt and y dash of nt minus t and the height is equal to t therefore the area is given by this product now by using this approximation and plugging it and then plugging it in this equation we can have y of nt that is the value of y of t at t equal to nt is equal to the approximate area of the trapezoid that is t by 2 y dash of nt plus y dash of nt minus t and then the value at y of t naught that is y of nt minus t. Let us call this equation 1. Now by simply applying sampling, now by simply sampling this differential equation that is at t equal to nt we have y dash of nt is equal to y dash of nt is equal to minus a into y of nt plus b times x of nt. This y dash of nt will be minus a into y of nt plus b times x of nt. It is simply sampling the differential equation. Now, now by simply sampling the signals in the differential equation, we get this new representation. By simply plugging in this relation in this equation and replacing y of nt with y of n and x of nt with x of n, we get y of n is equal to t by 2 multiplied by y dash of n becomes minus a y of n plus b times x of n and this thing y dash of nt minus t becomes y dash of n minus 1 and which is will be equal to minus a y of n minus 1 and plus b x of n minus 1 and then y of n t minus t will be equal to y of n minus 1. Next by grouping uh, the terms having y of n and the terms y of n minus 1 and x of n and x of n minus 1 we have now by basically recollecting the terms we have 1 plus a t by 2 multiplied by y of n that is this y of n and this minus a t by 2 into y of n and bringing this term to the left side we get this term and similarly for y of minus similarly for y of n minus 1 we have minus of 1 minus a t by 2 y of n minus that is minus of a t by 2 y of n minus 1 if it goes to the left side it becomes plus a t by 2 and similarly this y of n minus 1 goes to the left side it becomes minus of y of n minus 1 and finally we have 
bt by 2 into x of n plus x of n minus 1. It is bt by 2 x of n plus x of n minus 1. So, that is the difference equation approximating the original differential equation. So, this is the new difference equation. Now, by applying z transform to this difference equation, we can derive the transfer function in the digital domain. That is, by applying z transform, we have 1 plus a t by 2 y of z minus 1 minus a t by 2 z inverse y of z because we have y of n minus 1 that is the delay therefore we have z inverse and then on the right side we have bt by 2 multiplied by x of z plus x of z multiplied by z inverse and again by grouping the by collecting the terms related to y of z and x of z separately we can write the transfer function in the digital domain that is by collecting the terms related to y of z we have 1 plus a t by 2 minus 1 minus a t by 2 multiplied by z inverse and this whole term is multiplied by y of z and on the right side we have b t by 2 multiplied by 1 plus z inverse multiplied by x of z. Therefore, the transfer function h of z is y of z divided by x of z and then it is equal to b t by 2 1 plus z inverse that is the term in the numerator and in the denominator we have 1 plus a t by 2 minus z inverse 1 minus a t by 2 and then rearranging these terms we will get h of z equal to b t by 2 multiplied by 1 plus z inverse divided by 1 minus z inverse plus a t by 2 multiplied by 1 plus z inverse that is a t by 2 plus z inverse into a t by 2 so that will give to give rise to a t by 2 into 1 plus z inverse upon upon simplification of this h of z that is dividing both the numerator and denominator with t by 2 multiplied by 1 plus z inverse we will get h of z is equal to b divided by 2 by t 1 minus z inverse by 1 plus z plus a that is we are multiplying with 2 by t that is this term gets cancelled and then dividing this 1 plus z inverse with 1 plus z inverse will get cancelled and then we have 1 minus z inverse by 1 plus z inverse 1 minus z inverse by 1 plus z inverse and then 2 by t and then this finally this term a t by 2 plus multiplied by 1 plus z inverse gets transformed to a that is when we divide this term with t by 2 1 plus z inverse only a is left therefore h of z will be equal to b by 2 by t 1 minus z inverse by 1 plus z inverse plus a now comparing this to the original transfer function of the analog filter we have b by s plus a so by simple comparison we can clearly deduce that s is equal to 2 by t 1 minus z inverse by 1 plus z inverse so this is the bilinear transformation or in short blt so this is the bilinear transformation that we can use to replace s with a function of z to derive the transfer function in the digital domain from a given analog filter. Even though we have derived the filter for a single pole analog filter, this transformation is applicable for this is applicable for a general nth order differential equation. Thanks for watching.